Hi everyone, welcome back to Coffee Books and Rain where we talk about all things literary and bookish and things of that nature and I wanted to bring you one of my first advanced reader copy books of February. Now the reason this is one of my first ones for February is so far it is one of my favorites. Uh, this one also gets published on February 6th and um, honestly I thought it was hilarious and fun. It was really cool and wanted to talk to you guys about it. So let's dive into The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett and I'm going to try to put a picture somewhere over here. I'm going to try to put the cover art at least in the screens whenever I talk about these books so you guys kind of know what to look for. Now when I get the cover arts for some of these books they are associated with the advanced reader copies. Um, now it is possible that when these books release in physical form these cover arts could look a little different so please be on the lookout for these books whenever they drop at whatever bookstore that you may be um, you may frequent or you may patron. Um, patronize? Uh, anyway, I, I really should know which word to use right there. But <laughs> so let us dive into The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. And I want to thank NetGalley and Random House Publishing Group, the Ballantine and Del Rey for um, this particular book because they provided me an advanced reader copy through the NetGalley account in order for me to provide a review. So I am also going to link this video to my NetGalley account so hopefully NetGalley will be able to see how much I truly enjoyed this book. Um, with that being said, I did give it five stars on my Goodreads as well as on my NetGalley account and the reason I did is because I have to admit up front I really love the heck out of this book. Um, I was engrossed in the world, the characters, it is a kind of a detective mystery but it is still sci-fi or yeah it's a little sci-fi uh definitely fantasy um and it's got lots of sarcasm and wit and if you ever ever like listen to me talk about books if something has sarcasm and wit if it has characters that are snarky characters that are quick with comebacks and are not just pushovers then you will know that those are my kind of people um, I love a person who is quick with a comeback and is so funny because in my household, in my personal like immediate family of mom, dad, brother, and myself, um, my dad and brother and I are very good with witty snappy comebacks and my mom, she tries so hard, but she'll usually think of a comeback like a day later. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, the two primary characters are Din and Anna. And Din is the assistant investigator to Anna and Anna is a woman who she's quirky and in a lot of different ways she seems to be overstimulated by the world at large so she really she almost she blindfolds herself so the rest of her senses get heightened um, she almost she closes herself up in a trunk sometimes at night so she can think um, sometimes if the windows opened, like it sets her off, like almost to a level that there might be some, like she may be on the spectrum of autism there. But, um, I see a lot of parallels with her character and the character of Sherlock Holmes. Um, she is constantly tinkering with different things. She's constantly shutting herself away and she often sees nuance where other people may miss it and she's not super personable and she often says the wrong thing in um, in front of company that maybe she should watch her tongue so in a lot of ways I really like her character um, and she chose Din as her assistant investigator for a very interesting reason that I kind of don't know if I want to share because it, it may be a bit spoilerish. So I may save that part. But Din, Din was someone who, um, he wasn't very good at a lot of different things and he had failed a lot of different tests. However, when it came to this particular test to be part of, um, 
I believe it's the Iudex, I-U-D-E-X, um, he scored really, really well. I'm talking like perfect grades on this particular test. So they kind of questioned that because he had failed horribly every other test he had taken. I'm talking like if you could have failed with a zero, he probably failed with a zero. Well, it comes to this test and he aces it. Perfect score. And they're like, wait, what? So they gave him the test again and a different test, same like, you know, but same subject matter, aces the test again. They're like, okay, fine. He must really know this must be his field of study. And so, um, in this particular world, they are able to augment individuals in order to um, give them more specific abilities towards their, what I would call careers. And he has been only kind of like elevated into this position recently. So he's only become an assistant investigator recently. He's not fully graduated from the program and he's been altered to be what's called an engraver. An engraver is a person who, when they walk into a room or walk into a situation or anything of that nature, he has the ability to have total recall of everything he hears, sees, and smells. And all of that comes into account later on throughout the story. Um, because, when like when he wants to really remember something he pulls out one of his vials that's in his satchel his engraver's satchel and he smells it and it's a scent memory so he smells the scent and that scent will then be linked to unlocking that memory and so the very first thing that we see him engrave is this murder scene well where this death scene where an individual has perished at the well the hands of a tree and i know that sounds weird but a tree has truly sprouted from the body of a man um called uh, i believe captain blaze and so den is sent in order to investigate and bring back that knowledge that engraver's memory back to anna who is the primary investigator in order to um hopefully have her tell to tell her the story to tell her all of the detail and for her to hopefully be able to solve it and um they have such a great dynamic between the two because she's very um I would say she's a little more flighty a little like I don't know like she's kind of off the wall and here and there and rubbing pages on her face and paper on her face. And I imagine a lot of things going on with her while Din is very stoic. Um, and like the, the murder mystery is very complex and rich. It's got full, lots of detail. I have to give kudos to the author because I love a good murder mystery and I truly, um, it did not see a lot of it unfolding the way it did. So definitely have to give credit there. Um, I definitely look forward to more adventures from this duo. And I loved that this was one of my first books of the year. Um, I do want to, like, I didn't even read like the summary yet. All of that was just my general honest opinion. Now, some of that was a little bit of summarizing of what was going on in the story. But like I said, very engrossing and you've got like this world that's woven together very well and I think the author Bennett has done a great job but to give you a little bit of summary um I'll just get that briefly I'm not even going to read the whole thing um a high imperial officer lies dead killed to all appearance when a tree erupts from his body <laughs> Assigned to investigate Anna Dolabra, Dolab um, a detective whose reputation for brilliance is only matched by her eccentricities. Uh, <laughs> rumor has it that she wears a blindfold at all times, even though she can see. Um, and then at her side is her new assistant, Denios Cole, magically altered in a way that makes him the perfect aid to Anna's brilliance. Um, and so we've got those two. So that's how it kind of starts. And the two close in on the mastermind and uncover a scheme that threatens the empire itself. Dean realizes he barely begun to assemble the pieces that are 
Anna and wonders how long he'll be able to keep his own secret safe from her piercing intellect. So very, very good story. Very good book. Have to give kudos. And honestly, I'm going to be looking more, looking for more from this author because with the Tainted Cup, the title didn't really know what I was going to be looking at and looking forward to. Um, again, if you've ever listened to me talk about books, you'll know that I am not the type of person who reads a ton of summaries. I don't read a ton of reviews often. Um, but with this one, there was something about the cover art that like drew me in. There was something about the title that drew me in and the title did not make sense until the end to me. So I'm just going to throw that out there that the title did not make sense until the end for me. So, um, I think that's how it was supposed to be. And my honest review is I give it five stars and I hope you will also give this book a chance as well. So please look for it on February 6th of 2024. I hope it is at any of your local book reset or book sellers, not resellers, but I was gonna say retailers, but, um, I think I almost had resellers. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on this journey and I will see you all on the next page. Have a great one. Bye.